Welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. In today's show and tell video, we're going to be discussing a product that I think was absolutely needed and necessary on my trip that I just took to the Michigan and back, as well as give a shout out to a company who treated me like a king. So let's get to the video. If you're new to our channel, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Dale and I'll be your host. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the City Adventure 2, version 2, Boots. <laughs> Here's what happened. Every time I start getting ready for an adventure trip, my, my little pup Buster, he starts pouting because he knows that he's not going to get to go with me on a motorcycle trip because there's simply no room for him. If we're going on a trip in the Jeep, he's he's riding shotgun, he's in, he's in like Lent. But he knows now at this point, because we've done enough trips, anytime I'm packing the bike, he knows I'm fixing to leave for a while and he starts pouting. So I feel bad for the little guy. So I'm in there throwing the tennis ball for him and we're trying to play. He knocks the tennis ball over into my old generation one city boot. Goes down in there and I'm like, ah, that's kind of funny because he's kind of getting his head stuck. And then after a little bit, I just go over and I pick the boot up by the sole to pour the ball out. As I'm pouring the ball out, I realize the sole's coming separated in the middle of the boot, not the end, not the heel, not the toe, but in the middle of the boot where I picked it up at. And I was like, man, that ain't no good at all. I knew my feet got wet when I was riding to the East Coast and back a few times. Originally, I thought he, I either had a leak in my climb gear or potentially I was just sweating so much. One of the days there was quite a bit of moisture in my sock and I thought that's probably way more than sweat. I don't know what the deal is. I coated my boots before I left on the trip with some basically water sealer, some boot grease and, and I couldn't figure out how, how my feet were getting wet but now I know. Here's where the panic comes in guys. I'm fixing to leave at this particular moment in time. I was fixing to leave to get ready to go to Michigan and I was in a panic so I got online and I found some adventure boots, not the ones that I wanted, but some adventure boots at Cycle Gear down in Houston in my size. So I thought, well, I could run down there. The problem is it's four and a half, five hour drive to get there. And what they had one pair, so what happens if they sell before I get there? Because if I wait until they open to call them and ask them to hold them, the potential is there that it'll be nine o'clock at night before I get back. Because it's gonna be a 10 hour day. So I in a rush, I, I got online with Rocky Mountain ATV and I was like, okay, they've got a pair, they've got them in stock, but I can't figure out how to get them next day shipped because if they would have gone regular shipping, that would have put the trip back or I wouldn't have been able to leave on time. So I didn't want to do that. So I called them up on the phone and I was like, hey, I need these boots, blah, blah, blah. I'm going on a motorcycle trip and the lady was so kind and so generous and helped me. And she said, not a problem. We can get them mailed out to you using the next day air program that we have. And I explained to her the situation. We got the order wrapped up and sealed up. The very next day, the boots were here. And, and I just can't brag on Rocky Mountain enough because their customer service and the way they treat people, they treated me like I was a YouTuber with a million subscribers. The thing of it is, I'm a small channel and nobody knows who I am. Uh, I was honored that they were so kind and generous to help me. So here's what the new boots look like. I'm going to go over them real quick. As you know on our show and tell Monday videos, a lot of times it's just an intro to a product. This is not going to be a full review. I will go ahead and tell you straight up front, I've ridden these bikes to Michigan and back. That trip was about 2,900 miles and I'm going to go over some of the differences between the old city adventure boot and the new one. Number one, these are a lot more comfortable. As you can see, there's a lot more flex in them right off of the bat in the toe area. I believe there probably still is some sort of reinforcement where you're going to actually be standing on your foot pegs, but I can't swear to it. I don't build the boots. Next up, you've basically got the same type of system to latch your boots down like the original version. You've got the two snaps. One of the things that they've added is they've added some stoppers on the back of the heel and I'll try to zoom in on these so you can see them a little better, but it keeps your foot from hyperextending. That is an added safety benefit that they didn't have on previous generations. And then also like I say, they're much more comfortable straight out of the box. Number two, these are Gore-Tex, they're waterproof so they're breathable 
and you can look and see they brought this seam way up high on these than they did the previous version so you actually get a lot more water protection almost to the top of the boot whereas in the past the other boot it was cut down lower so you'd lose several inches of water protection just based on the way that the boots steamed up this looks like leather it is not leather it's some sort of synthetic that is actually holding up nicely and it's breathable as well which coincides with the requirements the Gore-Tex make you make with them when you're going to be using their products so I'll show you real quick on this boot here that's retired now because the soles are falling off that's much lower what is that two or three inches that you're missing in water protection over the gen 1 boot versus the gen 2 again guys this is a real quick video basically a huge shout out to rocky mountain atv i couldn't have been able to have a peace of mind riding with those boots with the torn soles all the way to michigan and back so a huge shout out to them thank you for getting them to me so quickly i couldn't have i, I just it would have been difficult to do just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart rocky mountain atv is a company i'd love to work with sometime obviously i'm a small channel may not ever happen either way i can't brag on them enough they treated me like royalty again guys we couldn't do this without you guys so we appreciate your likes comments and subscribes we hope you have a blessed week don't forget the heartland dual sport motto let's go ride